play. 602 on today's TMJ4. Another violent outbreak in Milwaukee. And right now, police are still trying to find people responsible. And so right now, we're talking about four shootings. And three of them happened just minutes apart in different neighborhoods. Our Lauren Winfrey is live now with an update on the victims and what Milwaukee police know right now. Lauren, good morning. Good morning, Susan, and events busy 24 hours for Milwaukee police as they investigate those four shootings. Two of them were deadly, and one involved a 13-year-old boy. Milwaukee police responded to a home near 14th in Manitoba just before 10 p.m. Their officers saw a 26-year-old man suffering from gunshot wounds, but despite first responders trying to save his life, he died there at the scene, and police are still searching for the shooter and investigating what led to the shooting. Earlier in the day on Monday, there was another shooting near 37 and center. This one happened around 4.30 in the afternoon. Police say a 58-year-old Milwaukee man was shot and killed inside a liquor store in that area, and they're still searching for the shooter in that case as well. Around the same time yesterday, there was a road raid road rage incident, that one involving a 13-year-old. This happened near Fond du Lac and Hope, just north of Capitol Drive. The 13-year-old was shot and taken to the hospital. Investigators say he was in the car with his father when a road rage incident happened. Minutes later, shots were fired into that vehicle, hitting the victim. The suspect's vehicle is described as a black Cadillac with tinted windows. And Milwaukee police are also investigating a non-life-threatening shooting, that one involving a 19-year-old Milwaukee man. The shooting happened happened near 38th and Silver Spring. Uh, in this case, it happened around 4 p.m. The victim was taken to a local hospital for medical treatment. The motive in that shooting appears to be an attempted robbery. So the shooters in all four of these cases still on the loose. Police do need your help. They say if you have any information, please call the number at the bottom of your screens. Reporting live outside of Milwaukee Police Headquarters, Lauren Winfrey, today's TMJ4. All right, Lauren, thanks very much. And that number, 414-224-TIPS. It's 6.04. Other top stories. A man charged in the death of a 23-year-old by the name of Jasmine Banks has agreed to a plea deal. Banks was an innocent victim caught in the crossfire. Prosecutors say Brian Clark was one of two men involved in a shootout that killed Jasmine Banks near Fifth and Center back in September. Clark is scheduled to be sentenced then next week. The trial for the other man charged, Romance Gunn, is scheduled to take place in February. It's 605. Shorewood School District held a community meeting to address last week's threat that shut down schools and led to the arrest of a 14-year-old. A hit list with student names and loaded ammunition clip were found on campus. Dozens of parents and students showed up at the high school Monday night to talk with a panel of school administrators, police, and government officials, as well as mental health professionals. Parents who didn't get their questions answered that night can follow up with the panelists via email or call. It's 